please rise. We are gathered together in the sight of God to witness and bless the joining together of Francisco Frank Fregoso and Lynette Sines in Lizette Sines, excuse me, in Christian marriage. The covenant of marriage was established by God, who created us male and female for each other. With his presence and power, Jesus graced a wedding at Cana of Galilee, and in his sacrificial love gave us the example of the love of husband and wife. Frank and Lizette come to give themselves for one another in this holy covenant. I ask you now in the presence of these people to declare your intention to enter into union with one another through the grace of Jesus Christ, who has called you into union with himself. Lizette, will you have Frank to be your husband, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love him? honor and keep him, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful unto him as long as you both shall live. Frank, will you have Lizette to be your wife, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful unto her as long as you both shall live? I will. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and myself. The marriage of Frank and Lizette unites their families and creates a new one. They ask for your blessing. Please join with me in the response as found in your bulletin. Let us join together. We rejoice in your union and pray God's blessing upon you. Will all of you, by God's grace, do everything in your power to uphold and care for these two persons in their marriage? Today we are coming here to celebrate the marriage of Frank and Lizette. This has been a long time coming. <laughs> High school sweethearts who grew up and went their own directions in life and then a chance connection on Facebook 28 years later, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> it brought them back together. Wow, in 28 years there were a lot of changes. Jobs, families, but there was a lot of love between them which allowed them to figure things out and to follow what they knew was right in their hearts. Today is the day that Frank and Lizette declared their love for one another in front of their family and friends. Also, it's a time where they extend their commitments to each other by making some commitments to another important person in their family, Frankie. 
Frank and Lizette wanted Frankie to know that they promised to be faithful, loving parents, that they will always be there for you, Frankie, that they will be a good listener, and that they will each be a loving parent and friend. Frank and Lizette, do you promise to do your very best to be, continue to be good parents to Frankie? To do your very best to be there when he needs you? We do. Frankie, do you promise to honor Frank and Lizette and cooperate with them and respect them and help them make this family be the best that it can be? I do. Let us pray. God of all peoples, you are the true light illuminating everyone. You show, show us the way, the truth, and the life. You show us even when we are disobedient. You sustain us with your Holy Spirit. We praise you for your presence with us, and especially in this act of solemn covenant. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And Frankie, there's a gift that, that Frank and Lizette would like to give to you. Give this to you to open later. Go ahead and place that in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> At this time, we'll have a scripture reading. It'll be 1 Corinthians 13, 1 through 13. If I speak in the tongues of men or of angels, but do I do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy, and I can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and I have a faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor, and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but I do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be still. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when we completeness comes, what is in part disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. For now we see only a reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully now. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Thank you, God, for the reading of this word. Amen. Today's scripture is a beautiful scripture passage that I believe has great advice for those who are entering into a marriage covenant. It contains also some advice for all of us to follow throughout our daily walk in life. 1 Corinthians 13 is often called the love chapter of the Bible, but as beautiful as it is, it's not just about romantic love. The love in which Paul speaks is a behavior, a way of living which we can exercise when we're not feeling loving or very lovable. It is love that Christ has for each of us. Frank and Lizette really want this day to be focused on Christ, their wedding day to be focused on Christ. What better way to do it than to focus on Paul's words for us? Through this passage, Paul models how Christ loved us. Listen to Paul's words. In verse 4, he says, Love is patient and kind. Sometimes the two of you will be stressed out. Sometimes you'll be frustrated. Love is patient and kind. Sometimes in your marriage you might even want to give harsh criticism to your spouse. But remember, love is patient and kind. Second, Paul tells us that love is not jealous or boastful. 
You know, sometimes we try to make ourselves look better than we really are. And sometimes even our spouse takes a back seat. But, Paul tells us we are to be proud of each other. We are to build each other up. We are to praise each other for our unique gifts, especially those of your partner. Paul's next advice is to avoid arrogance or rudeness. Paul knows that sometimes we treat those we love with less courtesy than even the strangers we encounter. We forget how much we love them. And so Paul urges us to treat our spouse with reverence and respect the same way we would want to be treated. Of all the ideals Paul holds up before us, the next may be the hardest. Love does not insist on its own way. Now, Frank and Lizette, I'm going to guess that there are times in your own relationship with each other when the both of you, one of you, have, has insisted on having their own way. It happens with all of us. <laughs> we all go through times where we think that our way is the right way, that there'd be no problems in this world if my spouse would just do things my way, and everyone else too. <laughs> but in a marriage, that thinking isn't helpful. Marriage is intended to be a journey filled with compromises. If both of you are willing to compromise, if both of you are willing to respect the needs and wants of each other, and not just your own, then your marriage will be more peaceful and productive. Me and mine give way to us and ours. Paul's next description of love is difficult to follow. He tells us, love is not irritable or resentful. I wonder if there's anyone here who's never been irritable or resentful. In fact, most of us fail to live out this quality of love. Sometimes we're just easily agitated. Rather than politely answering a question, we respond in a loud voice. Too often, we can become argumentative and defensive. But Paul says, we're to say, I'm sorry. We're to say, let's start over and try again. And that's the quickest and easiest way to try to make things right. Paul's model of Christian love may even suggest a double standard. When our spouse is irritable, we're to be patient. When we are irritable, we're to ask for forgiveness. If you both live by this advice, there will be peace in your home. Paul goes on to say that love does not rejoice in wrong, but rejoices in right. Frank and Lizette, this means that you should have strong principles and a sense of justice in life. You should care about those around you who are vulnerable. You should celebrate life's success when it's victorious, when love wins over hate, when forgiveness wins over resentment. Christ always wants us to look out for each other, to look out for the least, the lost, and the left behind. Love, even when it's difficult to love. Paul sums up his beautiful description of love in these words. Love bears all things. Love believes all things. Love hopes all things. Love endures all things. In other words, love never gives up. It hangs on. It holds on. You can count on it. This is the type of love you are to have for one another. A love that can be trusted. And this is the kind of love that we find in Christ. My prayer for the two of you is that you will continue to grow in love, in love for one another, in love for Christ, in love for the neighbors around you. If you do this, you will not only have a blessed marriage, but you'll have a blessed life as well. Let us pray. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation, giver of all grace, bless and sanctify with your Holy Spirit these two who come now to join in marriage. Grant that they may give their vows to each other in the strength of your steadfast love. Enable them to grow in love and peace with you and one another all their days, so that they may reach out in concern and service to the world. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Amen. Frank and Lizette, since it is your intention to marry, face each other, join your hands, and with your promises, bind yourselves to one another as husband and wife. Frank, repeat after me. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Frank, take you, Lizette. I, Frank, take you, Lizette. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To, to love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Lizette, repeat after me. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Lizette, take you, Frank. I, Lizette, take thee, Frank. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. This Bible is uh, the family Bible, the Bible that represents the foundation of Christian marriage as established by Christ. Christ graced a wedding at Cana of Galilee and offered to us the example of the union for husband and wife. Let us pray together. O oh God, we ask for your blessing upon this family through your instruction of the Bible that, that they seek out every day. Help them to grow in grace and love as they read and understand your words in the coming days. Help their family to grow in Christian faith, to know you more fully each day. Amen. 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 We will now have the blessing and the exchanging of rings. May I please have the rings? These rings are an outward sign of an inward grace that we find through Christ, of an inward symbol of love. The, the circle in the ring is a... Uh, a, a circle that never ends. It's never broken. And so we're reminded of the constancy of life, of love, that we find in Christ through the circle of the ring. Let us pray. Bless, O Lord, the giving of these rings, that they who wear them may live in your peace and continue in your favor all their days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Frank, repeat after me. Lizette, I give you this ring. Lizette, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And all that I have. And all that I have. And with all that I am. And, all, and with all that I am. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. And I honor you. And I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Listen. 
Lizette, repeat after me. Frank, I give you this ring. Frank, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As, as a sign of my vow. And with all that I have. And with all that I have. And all that I am. And all that I am. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. And I honor you. And I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 At this time we will have the lighting of the unity candle. You have declared your vows and consent before God and this congregation. May God confirm your covenant and fill you both with grace. Now that Frank and Lizette have given themselves by the solemn vows and the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I announce to you that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and Son and Holy Spirit. Those to whom God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Amen. 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 Let us pray. O God, you have so consecrated the covenant of Christian marriage that in it is represented the covenant between Christ and his church. Therefore, send your blessing upon Frank and Lizette that they may surely keep their marriage covenant and so grow in love and godliness together that their home may be a haven of blessing and a place of peace. Amen. 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 At this time, we will enter into the great thanksgiving of Holy Communion. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. You formed us in your image, male and female, you created us. You gave us the gift of marriage. 
that we might fulfill each other. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you, and blessed is your Son, Jesus Christ. By the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit, from which flows the covenant of love of husband and wife. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took the bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take eat. This is my body, given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to you, gave it to his, his disciples, and said, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, poured out for you, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Amen. And so, in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ, Christ has risen. Christ, Christ, Christ will, will come again. again. O God, pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood. And now, with the confidence of the children of God, let us pray together the Lord's Prayer, saying, Our Father, Our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. The body of Christ for the people of Christ, and his blood shed, that you may have life, and have it above. Will those who are assisting with communion please come forward at this time?
Here at First United Methodist Church, we are an open table, which means that all who are here today and would like to receive communion are welcome to come forward and receive communion. We will be serving communion by intention, which means I will give you a piece of bread. And you may take it and then dip it in the cup and then receive it. We, um, just uh, for ease of, of flow, uh, traffic flow, so to speak, we are going to uh, serve the bride's side first, and you will come down the center aisle and return down the side aisle, and then the groom side, where you'll also come down the center aisle and return down the side aisle. Please rise and come forward at this time to receive.
Most gracious God, we give you thanks for your tender love in making us a covenant people through our Savior Jesus Christ and for consecrating in the name of the marriage covenant Frank and Lizette. Grant that their love for one another may reflect the love of Christ for us and go, grow from strength to strength as they faithfully serve you in the world. Defend them from any enemy. Let them find peace together as a couple. Let their love for each other be a seal upon their hearts, a mantle about their shoulders, and a crown upon their heads. Bless them in their work and in their companionship, in their sleeping and in their waking, in their joys and in their sorrows, in their lives and in their deaths. Amen. 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 May God, the Eternal, keep you in love with each other so that the peace of Christ may abide in your hearts forever. Go to serve God and your neighbor in all that you may do. Friends, bear witness to the love of God in this world so that those to whom love is a stranger all will find in you generous friends. The grace and love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen. Frank, you may kiss your bride. <laughs>